Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you guys, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. I would like to send a special shout out to all my members, guys. Guys, and happy November. Happy November. For all my subscribers, guys, both old and new, guys, thank you. Thank you for joining me. Know that I did just upload a members-only video. I did who's coming towards you in the month of November and what do they want to say. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope your in your feedback is greatly, greatly appreciated. Okay, all right, let's get into this. This is for my Virgos. Show me spirit. What's the overall energy for the day for my Virgos? Ooh, one talks about new beginnings. Talks about some new beginnings here. New beginnings, new opportunities, new feelings, new emotions, new ideas, new creative sparks, new endeavors. New beginnings, waking up fresh and bright this morning. I feel like you guys have woken up fresh and bright. It's day one, November 1st. Fresh new start. <laughs> so we have, yes, proceed. Serious star blessings. Look at that. You guys got some new blessings coming in. It says, push through, be seen, proceed forward, say yes. That's some nice energy. Your spirit guides are telling you to keep pushing through. You will be seen. You need to be seen. Push through. Show me. Then we have star being guides. Answer the call. It's time for you to shine. Time for you to shine. You are a bright light. You are a blessing. You're a bright light. You're a blessing. It says Ven Venetian Galactic Council. Mm, there's people seeing you. There's some acknowledgement coming through for you guys. Your spirit guides are telling you to push through and answer the call. And then we have ancestral realm, karmic release. All right, so you're closing out karmic cycles. I love that energy for you guys. And it says healing the lineage and boundaries. So you have set boundaries. This is like healing, gener this is like generational karma, generational curses. This is releasing karmic energy, toxic energy. That's some good, that's some good energy. Healing the lineage. I feel like this is like changing the game. Yeah, karmic release again, radical transformation radical transformation you guys are changing the game wow that's some good energy that's some good energy some brand new beginnings proceed just as you are you're going to be seen push through answer the call it's time for you to shine it is time for you to shine you are healing karmic cycles you are healing karmic cycles healing from karmic cycles Release, releasing things that are toxic, setting boundaries. That's some big energy. Yeah. Show me spirit. Show me what's coming towards my Virgos today. What's coming? Whoa. Five of pentacles. Huh. Why is the five of pentacles here? Talks about a loss. Six of pentacles. It's like a raise, a promotion. Two of Cups talks about partnership. Talks about a soulmate, the fool. Aries energy. Wow. Who's walking away from what or who? 
somebody's walking away from someone here. Four of Wands. Four of Wands talks about stability. There's some there's some effects of there's some there's some effects here in the stability. Five of Pentacles talks about kind of not being in a good place. Not being in a good place right now, present moment, but that can change. Six of Pentacles, this talks about a raise or a promotion here. Two of Cups, this also talks about a soulmate connection. Are you not ready for this? Because it's coming in. It's coming in, but the fool here is like, that fool came out in the reverse, Aries energy. Are you ready for this though? Because you have a new beginning that's coming, that's trying to seep in, but are you ready for it? And I feel like that's why your spirit guides are telling you guys, there's a blessing coming through. There's blessings coming in. There's a need for you to say yes, proceed, be seen, and push through. Push through this five of pentacles energy. There's a need for you guys to push through this five of pentacles energy. There is something coming in for you. And for a lot of you guys, this is like someone here that wants to work with you. For some of you guys, it's a partnership. It's a soulmate. It's big, big energy of someone coming for you. The fool here, that's kind of foolish, kind of like kind of being fearful of taking that leap of faith. Four of, four of Wands talks about stability and foundation. Talks about family. Talks about something solid. Talks about something solid. So it's about you answering the call. It's about you pushing through the fear and the loss. The fear and taking that leap of faith. Because there's something solid here. There's something stable here. And for some of you guys, this is a soulmate connection. For some of you guys, it's an opportunity that's going to offer you something solid. Why is the five of pentacles here? We have the ten of cups. But you're not happy. Why are you not happy with... Some of you guys are at a loss. Some of you guys, you're in separation from someone right now, present moment. Or you're not happy where you're at right now, present moment. Why is this? Ooh. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Energy. Some of you guys could be having financial difficulties. The moon. Ooh, it's just your attitude. Eight of Cups, emotionally distant. Mm, some of you guys, I'm not, I'm not a fan of your attitude. <laughs> some of you guys, I'm just not a fan of your negative, negative Nancy attitude. Um, the moon talks about being kind of a little moody, strong cancer, Pisces energy, king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, but with that 10 of cups in the reverse, five of pentacles, like this is like not being content, not being happy, five of pentacles. I feel like for some of you guys, what's aggravating you is that you're having financial difficulties. What's, uh, yeah, and for some of you guys, it's like you're, you're, you're trying to figure out what do I do. It's like you're, you're aggravated. There's an aggravation here because it's like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Because you're tired of this five of pentacles posture. And you're wanting some type of change here. And for some of you guys, like someone could have stopped giving to a connection, stopped giving to you. Like emotionally detached from you and there's an aggravation in your energy. There's an aggra aggravation in your energy, but this is why for some of you guys, it's like releasing yourself from this because whatever this is, it's actually affecting you more than it's affecting someone else. Like that's kind of the energy. Like it's actually bringing you down more than it's affecting someone else. But it's like, it's also keeping you from seeing the blessings that's right in front of you because there is blessings here right in front of you. Strong energy. Yeah. Why is the fool in reverse? Show me the fool. Wow. We have the three of pentacles because mm -mm, I'm not playing with you. <laughs> For some of you guys, there's interference of other people here. For some of you guys, you're not able to get something off the ground. Like you've been working on something, working on something. You're trying and you're trying and you're trying and it's just not, it's just not cooperating. There's a lack of cooperation here. And for some of you guys, you're just tired of people. <laughs> like for some of you guys, you're just tired of dealing with people. Show me this three of pentacles. 
justice. You feel like life's unfair. Eight of swords all in your head. All in your head. All in your head. Yeah. There's an injustice here. For some of you guys, like you're going through some type of legal battle, which you feel is unfair. You're going through some type of divorce, which you feel is unfair, or some type of separation, which you feel is unfair. For some of you guys, there's interference here. There's interference in your life and you feel like it's unfair. Because it affects your stability. It takes some for some of you guys, it's taking away your partner, your partner in crime. Or an opportunity here for you. And you feel like it's unfair. Wow, that's a that's a very that's a very big energy. Yeah, let's see. Let's pull some of these cards. What's going on here, spirit? What's going on for my Virgos in this energy spirit? It says animals. You understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life's work. And I feel like for some of you guys, it's like tapping into your animal spirit. That's how you're going to be able to overcome this. That's how you're going to find the strength. We're going to pull from here. That's how you're going to overcome this. That's how you, this is like protecting what's yours. Oh, wow. That's a whole bunch. Your heart's desires, your children, your work. Yeah, your 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 creation. For a lot of you guys, that's what this that's what this is. That's where the aggravation is. What you do is a blessing. The gifts that you have are a blessing. And this is about like being like mama or papa bear. This is about you guys protecting what's yours, fighting for what's yours. Because like you're feeling like you're losing out and you're like, but how do I not? Like how do I win? Like, it's mine, though. Like, somebody could be trying to steal your work. Somebody could be claiming your work. Somebody could be messing with your children, messing with your home, messing with your family, messing with your stability, messing with your heart's desires. And it's like, but no, that's mine. And it's, it, and it's affecting you. It says the angels are supporting and guiding, supporting, guiding, and protecting you as you, your dreams become a reality. So like for some of you guys, this is like somebody here trying to steal your ideas, steal your work. It's a, it, they trying to take what's yours in all kind of way, shape or form. And like, this is like kind of calling bullshit on that. This is kind of like you guys calling bullshit on that because like, this is like somebody's trying to steal what's yours and that's what's aggravating you that's what's aggravating you you know that you are a blessing you know that you're blessed and your spirit guides are telling you to push through you're going to overcome this nonetheless keep pushing through keep working on what it is that you've been working on keep fighting for what's yours there is new beginnings and new opportunities in this energy it's yours it's not written for someone else the blessings are written for you these blessings are not written for someone else these are your blessings that's what your spirit guides are showing you. These are your blessings. They're not meant for someone else. It's like they're going to get their karma. They're going to get their karma for messing with you. Or for trying to take from you. To try and copy your work. Because we have your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. So it's like they're playing with something that you're very, very... That, that you that you hold in very high regard and then we have writing you heal inspire teach and entertain with the words you write only you can do it like that then we have music your connection to music is healing for yourself and others and i feel like for some of you guys it's like somebody trying to copy or steal your your ideas and your work or what's for you there there's some interference here 
And then we have author, you, you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed, make the time to write it. Your spirit guides are telling you guys to pursue what it is that you want to pursue. Don't worry about other people. Your spirit guides are telling you guys to not worry about other people. Pursue what it is that you want to pursue. It says the butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful. There's a transformation that's happening right in front of you in your life. Your spirit guide says seahorse spirit watch and wait. Watch and wait. You're going to see people are going to reap karma for, for going against you strong energy and then we have wombat spirit be at home this is like don't worry about it be at peace your spirit guides are saying for you to not worry about it you see how you're aggravated and you see how you're stressed about certain things your spirit guides are telling you not to somebody's going to get karma somebody's going to get karma there is healing there's going to be healing and it's going to be a ripple effect for whoever this is Whoever has done wrong unto you, there's going to be a ripple effect for that person. But there's going to also be a ripple effect of blessings, of blessings coming in for you. Strong, strong energy. Yeah, that's some, that's some strong energy, my loves. All right, guys, that's why I will leave you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Until next time. Bye, guys.